Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm 18 years old and I live in Blackfoot, Idaho. I was born with cystic fibrosis. It is a chronic illness, one that threatens my life and places a heavy burden on my family. This is my story. I think when we first found out Emmy had cystic fibrosis, I don't want to say we were prepared for it, but it wasn't it wasn't something brand new because her older sister had it, so we knew to, the doctors were going to check for it. We thought we knew she would be like her sisters, and she she wasn't. It was very different. Every kid is unique to themselves, and you just you learn as you go. But Emmy's situation was significantly more devastating uh, physically for her and health wise. Cystic fibrosis is very tiring. That's the easiest way to put it, both physically, mentally. As soon as I wake up, I start a treatment, which is a 30 minute long session. I have my medications that I have to take. I have to take um, 20 grams of fat. Anytime I have a snack or lunch, I have to take more medications. So physically and mentally, it's just really tiring. When Emerson's sick, it's frustrating because there's not a lot I can do. I, I get what she's going through for the most part, but there's, there's no, you just, it's a waiting game. You just sit and you wait for the antibiotics to hopefully kick in and make her feel better because she's tired. She's kind of cranky and miserable. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's frustrating and it's disheartening. comforting because we, we get what each other's going through. A lot of times when we were growing up, when one of us had to, an infection, the other one did, so we were in the hospital together. We were, we had our clean together. We, our rooms were right next to each other, so we would be, we were together and it was, it's definitely something that bonded us together. We have the same mutation of cystic fibrosis as well and that's, that helps with the whole we can be together part. That first year, it, it stunk. It was, she was sick. You get a smile here and there and it was like, yay, we got a smile, but she hurt. She was miserable and you know, you, you, you can't fix it. You just, you can't fix it. What is her life going to be like? Is she going to get through school? Is she going to graduate? Is she going to fall in love and get married? The scariest thing about Emmy and her CF is And Morgan. Is that the reality is a good chance I'll be going to their funeral. That's not right. It's just not right. Yes. When we found out that Emmy was going to get her wish, number one, it was extremely exciting because this child already knew about the wish program because her sister had had a wish and she absolutely was ecstatic. My wish was to go to the Bahamas. It was warm, had a great beach, the water is so pretty and clear. Some of my favorite experiences from the trip, we went deep sea fishing, which was super fun, and I caught two barracuda. We weren't strapped in at all, and we all reeled them in by ourselves, and it was super fun and a great experience. It meant a lot to get my wish granted. It was like, wow. We are so extremely grateful for Idaho Make-A-Wish and how much they've helped us and all the, the great things that they do and how worthwhile they are. It, it's so much more than just the wish that you're actually doing, whether it's big or small. Um, I, I just, it, it really is the happiness of your child. I would like to thank all the donors show my appreciation, but it, it's just, it was more than just a wonderful trip. It was smiles and laughter and memories that will be cherished forever.